Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is the Safe Solar Eclipse Viewer. Very easy to make. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a Pringles can, a push pin or a drill bit, a paper, box cutter, glue, and a tripod is optional. To start off the experiment, take off the plastic lid of the Pringles can, trace it on a piece of paper, and cut that out. Uh, right on the line there, a little bit inside the line uh, because we're going to place it inside the uh, plastic lid. So right like that and it should look like this. It goes right in the lid like that. Then take some glue. Uh, I'm using Elmer School Glue. Any kind of glue will work. Uh, just kind of put a thin coat on the inside of the plastic lid. Uh, this is just going to help us view the sun a lot easier. So you're just going to take that and then take your cutout piece. Um, if it's a little too big, just you know trim it up a little bit. Press it down and I'll let it dry. It should just take a little while to dry uh, while we do the rest of the project. It shouldn't take that long. Now we're going to flip the can over to the bottom part, which is the aluminum tin. We're going to measure halfway to the middle. Um, so it doesn't have to be exact, but it makes it a lot nicer if it's right, you know, right in the middle. So kind of like just get a good rough draft of the middle there. Now you can either take a push pin and push it in or a drill bit. Um, I'm going to show you uh, three different sizes on the drill bit. As the larger you get, the more um, not as crisp of a view of the sun you're going to get uh, with the drill bits. Uh, this is uh, a 1 16th, 1 16th um, drill bit here, and um, it's a little bit bigger than a push pin. So you're going to get a little bit bigger uh, viewing of the sun. So I, I typically like to use the 1 16th. I also will show you a couple other sizes and show you what they look like. With the full sun, of course, because we don't have the eclipse up yet. So go ahead and mark that. Um, be very careful. You don't want to push down too hard. And go very easy. And uh, make sure it's lined up. And um, and drill that through. Just a little, like I said, nice and easy. Doesn't have to be exactly centered. And you're there you are. You're set. You got a hole in the bottom of the can. And if you don't have a drill bit, you're just going to take a push pin and push very hard into the center and pop a hole. It's just going to be a little bit smaller. Now we're going to measure the sides. We need to cut out with a box cutter um, six centimeters um, up uh, directly deep, you know, uh, straight up there. So six centimeters. And then we're going to make it uh, four centimeters wide. So mark a couple um, six centimeters, kind of make a line there. Um, just guessing how far four centimeters is. And now we're going to mark the four centimeters. And um, once we get that marked, um, um, used to go into inches there it'll go centimeters you got four right there mark that you're gonna go all the way to the edge there so we'll draw a line up in just a second um doesn't have to be exact uh this is just a you know if you get it in this ballpark you're gonna be okay i'm gonna draw a couple straight lines and then we're going to cut it out so i, I use a box cutter you can use scissors uh whatever you do make sure you have an adult uh, because you know any sharp objects uh is dangerous so you, you better be, you have to be very careful with this and so i take my box cutter i always find it uh to be pr pretty safe using a box cutter uh, push it out with an adult and then i always pull away so it should end up looking like this and then we're just going to put the cap on the end of it that we made with the white cutout so now we're outside and what I did is I uh, took a rubber band and I just wrapped it around the can. I actually had two rubber bands tied together and then it kind of looks like a telescope. And then with the push pin, that's the size it's going to be when it's 1 16th. So it's a little bit smaller, but you can see when the, the, set, uh, when the moon comes across and covers the sun, um, it's going to block out the part and you're able to safely see the solar eclipse. Without looking at the sun, you're going to be able to see the image and what it looks like there. So this is a smaller one at 1 16th. I'm going to show you a couple other sizes that I drilled. Um, it goes a little bit more out of focus, but here we go. Here's the 1 8th or 3.1 millimeters. So you can see I'm just holding it here. It's a little bit bigger. Um, it's still not out, too out of focus, so it's pretty nice. And then I have one more after this. I have a 5 30 seconds, uh, 3.96 millimeters, and that is very large. So you can experiment, do larger holes. Um, you will get um, some uh, results. You can see my finger going over. Hello, it's a solar eclipse. Anyway, so the total solar eclipse begins August 21st, 2017 at 9.01 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, California. Maximum 10.15 is... And it ends at 11.37 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. 
all across the United States to South Carolina. And um, if you're not in that part of the view, then you won't see a total but a partial eclipse. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe. And thanks for watching.